Hey, meteorologist Pete Mangione here, and we're talking about a cool weekend, but certainly not historically cold. We're not going to set records or anything like that, but our temperatures will be a few degrees below normal. Normal for this time of year is around 43 degrees, and you can see from this graphic that we should be able to push those temperatures into the mid to upper 30s, so 4 or 5 degrees below normal for Saturday. What I do envision happening is that we start off sunny, and then some clouds start to move in late morning throughout the early afternoon. Also notice our wind speeds much, much lower than the gusty conditions we've had the past couple days. I'm not saying it's going to be completely calm because it certainly will not. But instead of those stronger gusts, we'll have winds generally out of the west at around 5 to 12 miles an hour, maybe a gust of around 20 during the afternoon. And temperature-wise, this may actually be a little bit underdone. I think we get a few degrees warmer than this. But what we may see happen is these temperatures go back in the low to mid-30s from the middle to the late afternoon, especially if some of those clouds materialize. And one more note on those clouds, we could have, and I want to stress could, have some snowflakes falling from those clouds. I think the flurries will be very sparse and the batches of snow few and far between. We can see what happens. This is 8 a.m. We're starting mostly sunny. And then into the noontime hour, you can see clouds start to increase. I'm going to remove my face for just a second so you can see where those snow bands are coming from. A few snow showers, a few snow flurries possible. That would be about it. And then by, say, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, snow potentially out towards Cape Cod, Plymouth County, and the islands. But that scoots out quickly, setting up mostly clear skies on Saturday night to Sunday. And we'll have a fairly cool evening on Saturday night into Sunday with low temperatures in the mid to upper teens. That's all for now. We'll be posting more updates this weekend right here on WPRI.com. Have a good weekend.